Heinrich Rudolf Hertz, 1857 to 1894, was a German physicist whose groundbreaking work in electromagnetism paved the way for modern wireless communication. His discovery of radio waves confirmed James Clerk Maxwell's electromagnetic theory, proving that electromagnetic waves could travel through space. This work laid the foundation for the development of radio, television, and wireless technology, making Hertz one of the most influential scientists in physics and engineering. Born on February 22, 1857, in Hamburg, Germany, Hertz showed an early talent for mathematics and science. He studied engineering at the Dresden Polytechnic School before shifting to physics at the University of Munich. He later earned his doctorate under the mentorship of Hermann von Helmholtz at the University of Berlin, where he conducted groundbreaking research on electromagnetism. Hertz's most famous experiments took place in the late 1880s. Inspired by Maxwell's equations, he sought to prove the existence of electromagnetic waves. In 1887, he successfully generated and detected radio waves using a simple setup of an induction coil, a spark gap transmitter, and a receiver. His experiments demonstrated that these waves could be reflected, refracted, and polarized, just like light waves, proving that electricity and magnetism were intimately connected with light. His discoveries had profound implications. Hertz's work confirmed that electromagnetic waves traveled at the speed of light, leading directly to the development of wireless communication technologies. Without his pioneering research, the later inventions of Guglielmo Marconi's radio transmission, radar systems, and even modern Wi-Fi and cellular networks would not have been possible. In addition to electromagnetism, Hertz made contributions to the photoelectric effect, which later influenced Albert Einstein's work on quantum mechanics. He also studied cathode rays and the properties of dielectric materials, further advancing the field of physics. Despite his brilliant mind and significant contributions to science, Hertz's life was tragically short. He was diagnosed with a severe infection that led to chronic illnesses, and he died at the young age of 36 on January 1, 1894. Though his career was brief, his impact on physics and engineering was monumental. To honor his contributions, the unit of frequency, the Hertz, Hertz, was named after him in 1930. Today, every sound wave, radio transmission, and digital signal is measured in Hertz, a fitting tribute to the scientist who first proved the existence of these waves. Hertz's legacy continues to shape modern technology, influencing everything from telecommunications to quantum physics. His pioneering work remains fundamental to how we understand and utilize electromagnetic waves, ensuring that his name will be remembered as one of the greatest minds in physics.